everyone, we are IDEX 2025 on Naval Group booth. We are with Guillaume Jacques-Pateau, UAE Naval Group Country Director. Guillaume, can you tell us what do you expect from this huge exhibition here, especially in the UAE? Thank you very much. So yes, my name is Guillaume Pateau, UAE Naval Country Director. I'm based in Abu Dhabi. Uh, and we are running an office, a branch here in Abu Dhabi, to serve the Navy, UAE Navy. So the history is long with UAE. Uh, we have started in 2010 uh, and we have signed a major contract with UAE Navy for two going ships in 2019. We have delivered the two ships uh, to UAE Navy, one in 2023, the other one in 2024. And we are focusing our efforts on the satisfaction of the customer, of course. So here we are in IDEX in order to showcase our latest technology. We are designing, we are developing, we are producing, we are maintaining submarines, surface ships, drones. And the idea is to meet as much as possible all the customers to be able to show what we are doing uh, with our latest uh, products. In UAE, we are also very much focusing on uh, the, the fact that we want to uh, put in place a localization program. So we have started with going by the years, uh, integrating some uh, uh, buyer furnished equipment, uh, meaning UA equipment. And we have, after that, uh, one year ago, we have signed a major transfer of technology contract, national CMS, in order to give an asset, a national asset to the UAE Navy. Um, Jolek, the last going was just commissioned by the UAE Navy. Can you tell us a bit more about that and the first feedback on the going? Uh, you're true. Uh, two go uh, two go wins have been delivered by Naval Group to the UAE Navy. One in 2023, the second one in 2024, and the second one has just been commissioned within the UAE Navy as fully operational uh, just a few days ago. So we are very proud to have offered these cutting-edge modern surface combatants to the UAE Navy, highly capable in all uh, sectors of uh, military activities from uh, maritime security to high-end operations like anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare and anti-air warfare. You are talking about the capabilities of the GOIN and how can you make this GOIN evolve in time and counter uh, the modern threats we can see in the Red Sea or in the Baltic Sea? We are, we are very, very proud to have delivered these GOINs and within the GOIN family, we are keen to propose some uh, brand new and cutting edge capabilities that are embedded within the FDI, Bellara frigate, but that could fit within the Goin family corvettes. Uh, for example, uh, high end capabilities in anti air warfare with the capability to embed Aster 30 missile uh, on board Goin family uh, corvettes so as to tackle. Uh, new uh, and emerging threats such as uh, anti-ship missiles, cruise missiles and even up to ballistic missiles. So we are very keen to propose these new capabilities within the Goin Corvette family to the UAE Navy. Second brand new capability is asymmetric warfare capability or counter drone capability. As you know, currently in Ukraine, in the Red Sea, the drones, either uh, surface drones or air drones, are really proliferating. And this is a threat that all navies have to tackle. And we have a brand new, uh, unique solution embedded currently in the FDI Bellara frigate, but that can also fit within the Goin Corvette uh, family. This unique solution is a dedicated bridge for asymmetric warfare, uh, allowing panoramic surveillance day and night of all what is going on in the visual sphere around the ships using electro-optics systems for day and night detection and long-range identifications of the threats. And then a centralized operation uh, of effectors going from non-lethal with a deafening and dazzling systems to lethal systems that can go from 20 millimeter remote controlled guns and up to our brand new product that is the multi-purpose launcher uh, system that we have just here. All navies have an issue regarding modern threats that can, be fr that can go from high-end threats like ballistic missiles, for example, and that, are, that can be also combined 
with uh, assaults of uh, drones, uh, uh, either uh, surface drones or air drones. And all navies have to save their precious anti-air warfare missiles for the high-end threats and need some uh, dedicated weapons to tackle low-cost drones uh, with ad adequate solutions. The multipurpose modular launching system is an answer to, the, to this issue. MPLS can embed quite a, a great number of weapons, uh, up to 16 Mistral 3 uh, anti-air missiles, combined with up to uh, 40 uh, rockets, either against uh, air or surface drones. So it's a true answer with immediately available uh, weapons to counter these asymmetric threats of drones in, in, the, in the short fields so as to save the precious anti-air weapons for the high-end threats that are also a true uh, threat today.